Hello Earthlings, my name is Song Sid, and welcome to another tutorial on Final Cut Pro. So today what we're going to be doing is trying to make this, recreate this beautiful banner for YouTube or any other website or just for your desktop background. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into making this really cool looking banner. So the first thing you want to do obviously is get into Final Cut Pro. 10 and I just updated to 10.3. Apple basically did change things and in my opinion they kind of messed up the, the u user interface. They did the same for Logic uh, and yeah Logic just looks really bad now. Uh, I, it's just my opinion. A lot of people actually seem to like this new update but I just think it looks bad. And it looks more like Premiere Pro to me. Uh, compare it, I mean, they kind of lost their uniqueness and I don't really like it, but obviously I do have to get used to it now. I have updated and there's nothing I can do. So let's just get into making this banner. So the first thing you want to do is create a new project. So I'm going to go here, file a new project and we're going to call it tutorial. And then you want to go to your Titles and Generators tab, drag Gradient on here. Now, you need to go here and select Custom and enter these numbers. So for uh, instead of 1920, uh, 2560. And this is basically the standard YouTube size. That's what they tell us to do when you're going to upload a new banner, a uh, new picture for your banner. They tell you to put this is the recommended size. So just put that in and this doesn't really matter. None of this really matters because it's just going to be, you can change this. You can make it uncompressed if you want like more better, if you want better quality. Uh, but I'm just going to stick with this for now because I think this is good enough and this doesn't matter because it isn't a video. So yeah, this doesn't matter if there isn't any audio. So just click OK. Yeah, so you want to go here to your video uh, section over at Gradient and then find, so go to this uh, tab. And then over here, when it's where it says linear, you want to make that radial. And yeah, so that basically changes. You could actually uh, keep it as linear, but I, I like radial. It just looks a little better for me. And now you can mess with this. So I'm going to put this on this side and make it a little bigger. So we have two colors. Uh, now we're going to change those two colors. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make this uh, sort of light bluish greenish turquoise uh, sort of color and I'm gonna leave it at that and then we're gonna go to our next color I make this more purple so it's kind of like two opposite colors one is uh, opposite but one is darker one is uh, bright all right so you want to go to your uh, FX and then go to your blur and then find pris radio radio I almost said prism there but it's radio so you drag that over here and that that gives you it gives it basically gives depth to your uh, banner and makes it look a little better. And yeah, it look it looks good. It looks really good in my opinion. Now the next thing you want to do is this is basically my favorite effect. It's called glow. You might have seen me use it a few times in the previous tutorial. And yeah, it basically makes everything glow and it looks really good. So that's basically all for the background for now. Now what you want to do is go to your titles tab and search for basic titles basically at the top. Uh, yeah, yeah, just just drag that on and then double click that and write your channel's name or whatever you want to write. I'm going to write Sonic Sid because that's my channel's name. Then go to basically you can you can choose any font you want, but I'm going to go over here because there's this really cool preset called offset. A preset call offset and I'm gonna use that because it looks good now we're gonna go over here and this is basically you can search for it you can search for the YouTube uh, channel art dimensions and you'll uh, just download an image so I'm just gonna put this under to and this is our safe zone so this dark uh, gray box over here this is where so if you need to make sure all your text is inside here because this is everything outside this is not going to be a, uh, is not going to appear on mobile phones and uh, like an iPad or an iPhone so you want to make sure all your important stuff is inside this dark gray box so let's let's increase the size because we have space so I'm not use it and that's safe it's in the safe zone and we can make it a little bigger and that that's good enough you don't want to overcrowd it you don't want to make it too big 
All right, so that that looks good. That's good. It's it's uh, it's in the safe zone, so it's not gonna get cut out on the phone or anything. So that's that's nice. Now the next thing you want to do is we're done with your uh, main title, whatever you want to call it. And now what you want to do is go back to your titles tab and take another basic title and put this under under your uh, main title, whatever you want to call it. And over here, basically. Because the background is so, so plain, it doesn't really look good, it's not attractive. So you want to kind of fill in that space, you want to fill in that space. In my previous video for making a, an awesome intro, what I did to fill in the space was I put this effect called stars. Uh, you have it in your generators tab, don't put in stars. I have a really cool thing instead of stars. So you want to write preferably the first letter of your channel's name, my name is Sonic Sid, so I'm just going to write that. And this is basically just to fill in up to fill up all that uh, space so that it doesn't look too boring and people aren't really going to notice it but it's just there to fill, up, to fill up all that space. Now we're going to go here and select offset again and we're going to reduce the size. Uh, let's make it 35. 35 is a good size. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom, take out outline, select face and take out drop shadow. And now I'll show you what happens. You can't really see because it it's a uh, behind the main text. So we're gonna remove that and we're gonna search for tiles. Tiles, not tiles. And we're gonna drag that over to our basic title. And we're gonna go to our video effects and we're gonna make this one because three is way too much. And then just click here and wait for the magic to happen. And there we go. So it should look something like that now. And it looks pretty good. Basically filled up all that empty space. And that that's cool. It looks good. Now what you want to do is go back to your blur section. So go to your blur section and, and select focus and throw it on that. And yeah, it basically blurs out the sides. And that's way too much. So we're going to go over here and we're going to push down the amount so that there's very little. So let's go for like a 9.5 probably. That, that's a good number. And that's just a bit, so it's around the edges. Again, it adds the depth of your picture, and it looks like it's kind of curving around the ends. So with all that done now, this is not the end, but we are we are really, really close to the end. All we need to do now is click Export the Picture. Uh, if you don't have the Save to Current Frame, just click on Add Destination, and it'll be here. Just drag it over here. So basically, just Save Current Frame. It'll make an image, and then you can put it back in this project, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I got, I rendered it out, and I made it one file. So now what you want to do is drag Focus again to our tutorial, right, and push this down, just so that there's a bit, a tiny little bit. And then what you want to do is go to go to your uh, color tab and drag color correction. And then we're going to go to our color board and go to our color sec color tab. And we're not going to mess with the global fil uh, the global filter. I think that's what you call it, whatever. And we're going to put the shadows down. So this basically highlights the purple and throw our midtones up, which highlights the blue. And we're going to skip saturation and go to exposure. We're going to throw the global down by like 7. 7 is good. 7. Okay, 6. Whatever. And we're going to throw our mid-tones up just a bit. Our shadows down. And our highlights just like that. So it looks like a line going up. And that's all you have to do. I think that's a little too much. You can, you can play with it. Tweak it how much ever you like. Make it look good. And that's basically all you have to do. Uh, to make something that looks like this. Uh, obviously, I did it a little faster this time just because of the time I had to finish this tutorial. Uh, so if you spend a little more time, you can make it look a little, be little better, and this does look a little better. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you made a really nice looking game. So see you next time. Bye.